In this video I will show you how to use this NRF24L01 RF transceivers with Arduino. Demonstration project that I decided to make is wireless thermometer, which represents the simplest way to use this, one-way communication from single sender to single receiver. Sender circuit has Arduino Nano with NRF24L01 and AM2320 modules. There's also a couple of pull-up resistors in I2C lines. Connections are straightforward. NRF module connects to SPI bus and two GPIO pins that can be any pins you want. Temperature sensor module connects to the I2C bus, which in Arduino Nano's case is in pins A4 and A5. NRF module needs to be powered from 3.3 volts. It cannot handle 5 volts in VCC pin. Data pins, at least in my case, are 5 volt tolerant and thus can be directly connected to the Arduino. The receiver is just Arduino Nano with the NRF module. In this simple demonstration I will use serial terminal to actually show the received data to the user. And the NRF module is connected to the Arduino same way as in sender circuit. I made this neat gadget by soldering wires from Nano to NRF module and hot gluing them together. On the software side, there are two libraries that need to be installed for this project using the library manager of the Arduino IDE. First one is RF24, which is a great library for using NRF modules with Arduino. Another library is Adafruit's AM2315, which is compatible with this AM2320 temperature sensor. The code, which you can find in the description, should be quite straightforward. I've added comments which should be helpful, and RF24 API reference can be found in the description. Some important things. When you create an object for the radio, give pins you used for CE and CSN as arguments. Like said, they can be any free GPIO pins. Another thing is address of the used by. This tells where the sent data should go. The size of the address is 40 bits and it can be anything, but make sure to use different address if you have multiple NRF24L01 based projects running at the same time. Sender opens writing pipe with given address and receiver reading pipe with same address. One writes to it and one reads from it when the data is available. The sender, which is the node with temperature sensor, reads the temperature every few seconds and sends it. Receiver checks constantly if data is available and if it is, it gets printed to the serial port. This was a very simple example. For more comprehensive examples, check the ones that come with the library when you install it. For now, only thing I have left to do is asking you to subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. Thank you for everyone who have already done that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.